Hello and welcome back to Vanilla Ice Cream Adatria. Uh, as we look at this beautiful sunrise and my uh, increase in the amount of furnaces, I've done a couple of things between episodes again. Just a few, you know, nothing too big. I went mining, I now have quite a bit more iron and copper and a little bit more gold in my name and that's it. I went to the nether and got exactly seven quartz. And then I died a couple of times. I was trying to get 30 levels. As well as, you know, everything else I've been trying to do. That didn't happen. <laughs> uh, that, that didn't happen. But here we are, and I have placed this block right here. This shall be the center point of our base. Which I have planned in a creative world. Like, very creatively. It will be tall, and it will cover this whole island, which is now actually an island. I got this big old hole in the in the in the thing. I'm not entirely sold with its shape. I think it may need to be a little uh, a little wider, and it probably needs to just. I think. This could probably be resolved very quickly, actually. Also, I, I finished the enchanting setup. Ta-da! It has 15 bookshelves now. <laughs> Yay! I think we just do this. And then swap a lot of the stone out for grass, and I think we'll be okay. I also did a couple other things. I have a very small lava farm. Very small. Um, one lava source, as in, I was in the overworlds, and mining a little and I found a singular lava source and I was like wait a second there was a wandering trader that I don't remember if this was on camera or not but sold me uh the wandering trader sold me some dripstone so I have exactly four pointed dripstone I don't remember how to farm it but I have it yay me <laughs> is this better I, I think this is better I think this is going to be good enough for our purposes. Uh, the lava farm's right over here. And the uh, cave I found. I found a little cave. I've covered up the top of it for safety reasons. But if we don't fall down, <laughs> if we go down here, we can see we've got a bit of a cave. That is uh, not entirely flooded. That bit, that bit is completely just an underground lake. Uh, but and I've... Mind all the iron around here, and a bit of the coal, and a bit of the copper, and a bit of the gold, and it's not deep slate, so I didn't find much of anything else. I found very- <sighs> I also died of a creeper in here doing exactly that. We have a couple of th oh, there's more iron that I missed. That's fine. Uh, in terms of things to do today, I don't know how much we will be- building. I think a to-do list is actually going to be very helpful for this episode. Ow. Cut that out. Thank you. I think we're going to need a to-do list before I decide what else we need to do. Also, I have a diamond sword now. It's not enchanted, just like the rest of my gear. Uh, but I have it. I've spent two diamonds on it. I also have a diamond pick and a diamond axe. I'm just not currently holding them because I didn't want to lose them in the mines, but a diamond shovel is one diamond's worth of shovel. So, <laughs> it's not that much of a big deal to me. I still have not found a single block of moss. Which is a problem. Probably. I, I could just use vines. I know I could just use vines, but I also, like, want to have some moss. It, it would be useful. It would be super useful. Maybe I want- maybe I want azalea leaves. You know? Oh, also, this is the lava farm in question. It's- it's very simple. There's a bucket of lava that drips from the dripstone into here. I would like to put a dripstone farm next to it, but I don't know how to make those, and I haven't bothered googling yet. Also, the cactus farm does work. It works very well. Uh, also, our lovely scarecrow got blown up by a creeper um but he survived with one fence post remaining so i rebuilt him and now he is a superhero 
because he stands very tall and strong, even in the face of explosive danger. Uh, so he's got a cape, and he's got a cool new hat. Yeah! Also, I haven't been sleeping through the nights. I haven't been. I have not had a single phantom spawn. I haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> I think it might be a glitch or a bug, or I, it went completely over my head that phantoms just don't spawn on the server. Uh, whatever the answer may be, there are no phantoms. Also, I increased our furnace setup quite a lot because I was doing kelp shenanigans uh, to get more furnace fuel. But now it is time for not kelp shenanigans, but... Well, we're gonna need more signs than that, aren't we? Alright. We have... Our to-do list. Set up and ready to go. With nowhere near as much signs as I wanted originally, but that's because I just realized I could kind of make this pretty. If I can remember where I put any of my stuff. <laughs> Hold up. First things first, we do need moss. An actual moss block that isn't just moss carpet. <laughs> Uh, we need moss because I want to build out of it and I want to cover my ground in it and it's pretty and useful and doing vines for mossy stone. I don't want to do... <laughs> we also need mud. We'll be building a lot out of packed mud. So we are going to need wheat, but we're farming wheat. But we also need to take all of the dirt, which is in this barrel, uh, and turn that all into moss. Or er, not moss, pardon. <laughs> Some of it could be turned into moss, but if we build a moss farm, it's gonna farm the moss, so we don't need to worry about, like, turning stuff into moss. We'll just build a stone generator. But I've also got all my stone bricks all laid out. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of birch wood. We're gonna need oak logs. We might need to farm, farm more of those. We're gonna need spruce wood. But we need all this dirt to be mud. So mud is on the list. I Mud farm is gonna require... Actually, all of these farms are going to require the same thing, which we'll get to in a second. The third farm we're going to need is a wool farm. Specifically cyan wool, because that is going to be a very important block in our color palette. Cyan wool. Now here's the thing about all of these farms. They're going to require dispensers, which means they're going to require a lot of strength. Luckily for me, I've been killing spiders. I hope it's enough spiders. I have had some bad luck with spiders spawning for no reason. It's in more than just this world. I did a fetcher run, previously known as Minecraft Bingo run, and the last items I needed were a crossbow, which required string, and a spider eye, which required dead spiders, and it took half an hour to find any spiders. It was so bad. But w we need string, and also, ideally, we cover the base in flowers, because flowers are awesome. But in order to do that, we're going to need bone meal. Here's the thing about bone meal, though. The moss farm and uh, the auto composter setup I did, it's two hoppers and a composter. I've just been putting all my spare seeds in there. Uh, it's actually produced quite a bit of bone meal. So we can start the moss farm, which should hopefully produce more bone meal than it actually uses. So I think bone meal, actually, we can take it off the list. I think that'll be okay. We also need more spruce wood. It, it, there's no way I have enough right now. <laughs> I'm going to need more. Um... And, oh crap, I don't have it for the list. 20 seconds. Bamboo! We're going to need bamboo for scaffolding, because this is going to be a tall build. I... I want scaffolding. <laughs> <laughs> the center of the build's gonna be right here. At least I'm pretty sure. I might, uh... Terraforming will occur. But I think I want the center to be here. It's gonna be tall. Uh, very tall build centered on this thing. It's probably going to go like into the water a little bit. Part of the plan was that it could, would go into the water a little bit. But plans are subject to change all of the time. Like this to-do list. It might change. In fact, I'm going to make two more item frames real quick for the last two things in my inventory. Hold on. Boop. 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 Ta-da! We have all the iron we're going to need to pull all of this off. I did that in between episodes because it was super boring. <laughs> uh, we're also not building out of copper yet. We might later because it is pretty and it is close to cyan in color. But I, 
I think I'm gonna use wool and concrete because they're like really close to each other. They just have like a texture difference uh, in terms of mottled versus flat color. But we're gonna build the base. We're not gonna build the base this episode. This episode is a gathering resources episode. Let's just backlight this. Backlit board. It's not glowing. I have enough glow. I have enough glow ink, but I'm not wasting glow ink on this. Am I wasting glow ink on this? Yes, I am going to risk my life for glow ink for this. No, don't look at my experience bar. Definitely unrelated. There's a slime chunk under my base. Which is good to know. I don't know where it is, but it's in those mines. We... We're not... We're not going to talk about it. Let's pick something on this to-do list and do it! Alright, I have looked through Justin's stream VOD of episode 1, because uh, he streamed it while the rest of us were recording. We are going to negative 230, positive 500. Which is a little ways away. You know, just to surround this bend and a little further. We can actually stop by spawn. Why don't we stop by spawn? Or, oh, a new thing. New thing, new thing. What are you? Mending machine. Mending books go here. Payment goes here. Oh, this must be the thing inhibit set up. Oh. I don't have any of my money on me. Wait, 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 wait. No one's bought any amethyst. When I have money. Oh, I'm buying mending books. <laughs> Woo! All right. Where are we going now? Negative 250. Here. 500. Here. For 420 blocks. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, we're here, which means we're, yep, this is it. How to get down there safely? I have a water bucket, that's how. All right, down we go. Here, yes, yes. Oh, I hear zombies. I don't need the zombies, I need the moss. Oh, you're following me. Get, get, get out. Oh, nine ingot. That's useful. This feels hazardous. This feels very, <laughs> very hazardous. Oh, oh, right here. Okay, okay, okay. Yay! Actual moss. Um, I do need iron. I'll take this. And let's go back to the circus and back home, I guess. Back home we go. This is a path. This is definitively a path that I did not see when I got in here, so I must be on a different... Uh, X? Yeah, X coordinate than I was before. I wonder who lives over here. I can't help but notice that this path is going in the opposite direction of where I need to go. However, it's in a birch forest. Yeah! There's the boat! Oh my gosh, I was close. I did not need to go all the way around through spawn to get here. But that's okay. <laughs> is that an axolotl? Oh, it's multiple! So cute. Well, we are much closer to home than I thought. Uh-oh. Well, that is one thing checked off the list. Oh, jeez, my inventory is such a mess. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> oh. My poor storage system. If I build this building, 
I build the storage room. Like, that's... that's... Th that's my plan. It's to build... the building. That's my storage room. <laughs> huh. Oh well. Uh, Wolf Farm is next. I know how to build one. I designed one in a creative world. It... Knowing wolf farms, there's a chance that it's exactly the same as a wolf farm somebody else has built. Um, we're gonna build it out of birch. Oh, I was also gonna build a little bit of it out of glass. How much glass do I have? I have sand. I have- I have sand. That is not- that's not glass. Oh wait, I, I'm using a vanilla tweaks thing that makes glass hard, like, have the soft boundaries, so it's hard to see in your inventory. It's hard to see when you're holding it. Oh well. Uh, dying, it gets rid of that issue, so I might actually do that. Just, just to, just to do it. We also need a lot of hoppers. If we're gonna do, we need two hoppers per module, and there's three modules, so six chests. Uh, oh, I forgot I had those. All right. Uh, we're gonna need another batch of slabs. We're gonna need redstone. We're gonna need dispensers. We're gonna need dispensers. Where's the? We need dispensers. Okay. Uh, I had string. We need three. Okay. <laughs> Bam. Oh, and uh, cobblestone. Uh. Oh gosh. <laughs> so what you do is you queue up three droppers and go one. Two, three, to make them slightly easier to craft. <laughs> and we need quartz, because we need three observers. Nope, oh, it's in here. I did not grab a whole lot of quartz from the nether. Maybe I... Maybe I should have did that. Three pairs of shears. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I need to craft a bunch of hoppers, too. Six hoppers, one for the hopper minecart, one for the chest. Yeah. Yep. And three of those. <laughs> so I need three minecarts. So that's another fifteen. Uh, iron. Oh, this is a, this is a little pricey. They don't stack. Okay, one, two, three. Wow. <laughs> That's like half of my iron. <laughs> now the real question is where am I gonna put this? Oh and I oh, I need more chat I need uh six more individual chest entities. Um like so. Where do I put this? Where to put it? Probably over there. Think about building like a farmhouse, like a barn, big old barn over here. Reorganize the animals a bit, big old barn. Uh, but the this the sheep farm is a little special, unique. So maybe back here we clear out a little bit of space. I 
I'm just doing pressing the wrong buttons today. Again, I am just pressing all of the wrong buttons today. Oh, I'm also going to need a singular rail. Which is even more, <laughs> even more iron. Oh my goodness. Because you have to craft 16 at once and it's 6 iron per thing. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. So expensive. But that's okay. I want it on this elevation. So, so we just go 1, 2, 3. And eventually I want to bring this mountain like a little, little this way. So with the six dirt I was supposed to have picked up, there we go. Uh, hopper, so it'd be... Glad to see that is already becoming grass. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more... I could just go to my chests and grab some, but... Oh. I'm just not really feeling it. Oh, uh, there will be hoppers here, but they aren't there yet. We just need grass for the grass on the farm to be able to regrow with. One, two, three. Oops. <laughs> Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, and I need a piston. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just not remembering what I need and don't need today. Yet another iron ingot. <laughs> we put this here. We put this here. We put this here. Perfect. It's a little ugly, but that's okay. We're gonna put a little uh, upside down stair slab or something right there. Okay, that's the entire collection mechanism set up. Now we one, two, three when this updates two three that's gonna send out a redstone signal wrong way that needs to activate this dispenser now i'm sure that there's smarter ways to do this than what i'm about to do I think this will work. <laughs> I now have no way to update that observer without waiting for grass to grow. Wait, no, I can, uh... Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, and I... Now I have to piston push the thing again. That's okay. There we go. Okay, so new plan was the stairs and slabs plan that I was, like, I thought would work, but, you know. <laughs> this brings out redstone dust. You all have a full block behind you. You bring a signal up here, here, and here. And then forward. One, two, three, four. Right? I have no idea. I have I have no idea. Um 
Yes! Um, I have to break it, replace that. But it works! Let's go! Oh, oops. Just have to break and replace the block. And that's the redstone! That That's the redstone! I'm so smart. I am a redstone genius, actually. I have so much experience in the world of redstone. I am the most, just the bestest. The bestie, bestie, bestest. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, and then I don't have silk touch, but I could probably do that, actually. Um, maybe, M maybe? Yeah, probably. One, two, three. Oh, we need grass to grow. Oh, this this needs to be grass, actually. So the grass can spread. <laughs> Oops. Glad I caught that now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No! Aw, oh, I don't have silk touch. Oh, I hate that noise. That should work, though. That should work. And to protect our sheep friends from the elements, we are going to need some trapdoors. Just one, two, three. And now all that's left to do is get the sheep in here. I'm not going to use wheat for that. I have leads. Two, three. Out the door. Please stay, the rest of you. Thank you very much. Uh, one at a time. Actually, you know what? Y'all just hang out here for a little. Um, actually, uh, you hang out here. You hang out one next to it to keep this simpler. And you're coming with me. Just, just, just. Right in here. Pretty please. You in? Please? Hello? Uh okay, I'll just I'll just push you in. Pretty uh, Is your hitbox too big for a trapdoor? It is! Okay, that's good to know. Okay, the trapdoors are now going to be temporarily removed to make this easier. Okay, second sheep. Hello? Alright then. Uh, oh yeah, the dirt would probably be helpful. How did that get- I think there might be some lag on the server today. And that's okay. Sheep number three. All right. Nice and safe. Then one, two, nope, three. And then one. Shear. Oh, I already put the shears in. Never mind. All right. That's it. Should be it. When that grass grows, it will update the piston. Or no, it'll update the observer, which will activate the dispenser. That should work. That should work. Yes! It just works! It works twice! Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I put all my birch wood away, but I think I want... Yeah, I do. I want little birch pillars. Uh, strip birch pillars. I will be right back. This needs a proper roof. I... it does. I just don't know what that roof is yet. <laughs> uh... Likely also needs... little... little wall. I was kind of planning on having it 
bump into the hillside naturally, so that'll work. But just birch walls, I guess, could work. Just It's not like this needs to be pretty or anything. Do I have any dirt to spare? I do. It's just a... Uh... Possibly terraform this. There we go. Minimal work. <laughs> Little sheep house that needs something on top of it, but I don't know what yet. I think that should work out. Oh. Yep. Oh, <laughs> it's flipping the trap doors. <laughs> That's probably fine. Well, that's another thing off the list! What's left? Oh, mud farm. Oh my gosh. My organizational... everything. It's a mess. It's a disaster. <laughs> oh dear. Again, we're doing all of this to build an epic storage room. It's a shame that having the storage room would make this useful. Also, let's actually like check things off the list when we get them. Although I didn't build the moss farm. Yeah, I didn't do that. We can take that off the list, though. <laughs> Might need to add iron back onto the list, but I think we can take that off the list. And I can chop some spruce trees off camera, it's no biggie. Uh, hey, this video doesn't have an outro because it was originally gonna be one video, but now it is two. So the video after this was recorded back to back with this video. So, uh, I split them in half because they were really long. Uh, so this is your outro now. Ooh, outro. Ooh. Okay, bye!